So hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show the React JS and Strapi app called Apple Inventory Management System. So here I have terminal opened, and I will change my directory to Strapi dash apps and change directory to Apple dash inventory dash front end oops I'm sorry it should be back end I'm gonna clear this the yarn develop so I'm starting strappy now so why I have uh, this project titled backend because Apple inventory app is at least right now it is it has separate uh, folders between front end and back end and I'm just gonna open this local host on port 1337 slash admin just gonna I'm just gonna log in so I created a collection type I mean two collection types named product and stock event on product I have two fields name which is text and stock events which is relation and here it is the stock event it has type enumeration so we can add and remove stuffs in the inventory app and the quantity qty it has type of integer and it has relation with product collection types and i have already created some products here since the name is apple inventory so yeah i just created products products of apple uh, in stock event we can see that uh, I added and removed some products here so for example if we open this one we know that I added uh, 100 of iPhone 11 so this is the back end and I also have media library here just random media library I I put some wallpapers so let's go to the front end yarn start I will start the react scripts so it takes a bit longer than strappy oh here we are so here we can see um, the Apple inventory management system this is the interface so this is the front end and I use back uh, I use strappy on the back end this is the initial page if you go to navbar and press products we can add a new product so before creating a new product let's go to stocks to see what we have currently for example iPhone 11 so we can see history of the iPhone 11 in in the store for example I added 100 and removed 20 maybe because uh, yeah this is the number of number of uh, stuff stuffs sold to customers maybe or maybe lost or maybe stolen yeah it can be anything so 
we can add and remove stuffs here it has been removed and it has been added just like that so if we click this uh, we can see the details of of the event stock event and right now I think I'm gonna add add something I mean I'm gonna create something for example iPhone 2020 or let's say iPhone 3 so we got a prompt here that we have successfully created a new product I'm just gonna press OK and it, it's gonna refresh and if we go back to the stocks which listed list available products we have iPhone 3 here and yes we, it doesn't open the stock events because we have not added any stock events to the iPhone 3 that we have added before so I'm gonna add a stock event I'm gonna select product iPhone 3 and for example I got supply I got supply about 50 so th this is the number that I want to add I'm going to submit this and if we go back to the stocks here now we can see that it has 50 iPhone 3 and this is the history of the stock event of the iPhone 3 okay that's the product and stocks and if we go back to products here on the bottom we can see that oh, I'm sorry I'm just gonna make it 20 s yes. is it it is here so that we have added iPhone 3 successfully it has been sent to the back end as well and also here we can upload an image for example I'm just gonna add a random image for example firefox the firefox one the PNG and I'm gonna click submit button and it has been uploaded let's see in the media library here we have firefox one it is in PNG extension so it means we have successfully added this image so it means that we can add an image or images or images of stuffs that we have in this inventory app and if we click the, the more tab I created credit page so I I got this tutorial from his channel Alex the entrepreneur and this is my name Kevin and if you click the front end and back end it will guide you to my github uh, yes you can see that later maybe if you want to look at the source code it is here and this is the Apple official website I'm just gonna close it for now so you can have a look at my github and yes please feel free to visit my github and if you want to if you want to see the source code of course you can and here read the blog this is the blog I mean actually it is an article that I have created uh, so maybe this is just brief example to create I didn't 
go deeply to detect yeah to detect things because because the source source code is here and for github it is linked to my github here kevin adiguna and so if we just look at the source code so i have the source code here you can check it on my github on CRC, I have created components folder, fonts, and images. So, this is some images that I need to put on my website. For example, this iPhone, MacBook, Apple Watch, and iMac image. Those images are put, put here on images folder on SRC. And then fonts. I mean, I think I didn't use the fonts, but you can use the fonts if you want to. And here we have uh, some components. As, as you know, that this is created using React.js and Strapi. And React.js is, I mean, it is actually a library, a comp but uh, some people say, uh, react is a framework I mean that doesn't matter but react and react native is component based so for example here on app.js I have some components here home add product stock even stable file upload credit yeah, uh, those are components and you can add these components by importing them here. For example, import add stock event from components that slash add stock event. And we can see that it is used. Oh, here, it is used here, add stock event and etc for example like nav home credit this one too this is a component yeah so before going going uh, far i mean before talking more about component so here in app.js i use roots I use root here, browser router, switch, root by in by adding React Router DOM. So it is basically has function for root routing routing. So ex for example, this is slash it means the initial page if I put the slash it will give me the initial page but here we have slash products I will copy this I will paste here and then we can go to products uh, which you can reach by clicking this products tab and for example stocks we have slash stock events and it is added here slash stock events so okay that's uh, how react router dom works just briefly so going to components i have add products here so in this project i use REST API instead of GraphQL and I use Axios here you can add you can edit Axios uh, using yarn and npm as well of course I just uh, have to create a function with method URL and data inside 
of the function and here I added the prompt so if if I cr successfully created a product a new product it will give me a prompt that successfully created new product and it will refresh windows window dot location equals to window dot location dot href yeah this is the source code that you can look at later here's the add stock events so uh, I think mostly I, I used class component uh, instead of functional component because I have uh, because it is stateful and but of course uh, functional components have some advantages but it ca but it cannot be used if you if you include stateful yeah stateful or life cycle method so here is uh, how I map the product here this one which you can see in this page yeah here we are stock events and this is fetched from backend that's why you can see some logic here products dot map product i and yeah i map here this is the, this is the credit page and you can upload using file upload of course we we use i think we use axios here yes it is but I, will, I have to change the endpoint to slash upload in order to be able to upload it or append it to to you know the media library here and then the address is the source code here is the progress bar that you can see later some logics on the progress bar here oops it has disappeared but yes you can if you browse browse a file an image file and then if you submit that you will see the progress bar here this is the home page it is also a component and I didn't include the export default class here so I wrote export default on the bottom and you know that this is a web icon I changed the react fav icon to apple fav icon so it is uh, inside the index of HTML here so I use the customized icon here which is generated from real FF icon I mean yeah that kind of website I forgot the exact domain of the website but so this is the default setting from react and I just comment it in in case I want to use it in fu in future but right now I put comment here so I can show my customized icon here as a result it shows the Apple icon here on the browser tab so I think that's all maybe you can you can see more on my github just visit here front end and back end thank you very much for watching this video goodbye